Hey everyone, so a lot of people have been doing the Ironman VR races and you might have run into a problem like this where you've done all your activities but they've not registered in the Ironman Virtual Club. Super annoying. I saw Ironman's announcement about VR4 about a week ago when they said it was going to be a middle distance race and then I found out yesterday after I'd done my 90k bike it was actually just a 40k race and so now none of my activities have registered because it thinks it's too long and apparently like the activities you, you can't go longer than if you try and register a 90k bike it won't even though you've done the 40k and loads more it won't actually register so let's see if we can fix that now and so to do that I'm going to go in to Garmin Connect and get this Ironman VR4 bike that I've done here And I'm going to go ahead and export the original. We call that VR4 bike. And then obviously Garmin zips everything, so let's unzip it. Cool. So let's just rename this so we know what it is. And then we're going to go to this website, fitfiletools.com. And we're going to go to this section remover. I'm going to come in and find that file. So there we go. Open it up. Yes, I want it to be a metric. And this allows us to strip out a bunch of sections from the data. So the next thing I need to do is work out where I got to 40k because from here it's not really obvious. But if I go into Garmin here, I change this to distance. Got to 40 kilometers here, which is just after I turned. So I'm at 40 kilometers as I go up there. So somewhere up there will be good. And now I can find that on here. So. Yeah, about here I got to 40 kilometers. So I'll, this is the section I want to remove. So I'll just highlight that and then I'll hit go and download this Strava file. So this is VR4 bike cut. Now I can't just re upload this to Garmin because Garmin will say it's a duplicate activity. So the next thing we need to do is go up to this time adjuster. We'll go into this and here we select our file again. And then I'll just edit the timestamp. So I'll say this did this bike ride yesterday, but I did it at like nine in the morning. And instead, I'm just going to change it to 2 p.m. And then I'll hit go. And then again, we'll download this one. So this is the VR4 bike uh, with new timestamp. Okay, and then, so we're back in Garmin Connect now and we'll go to upload and we'll go to import, browser files and here we've got a VR4 with new timestamp. We'll import this. Right, import complete. And then hopefully a 41k ride will be accepted by the system. So let's go back into Iron Man Virtual Club and refresh. And perfect, so now we're at 67%. So now I just need to go do the same thing with the 21K run I did this morning, chop that down to 10 kilometers, and hopefully I'll get my little badge for having done all the distance, even though I've done like twice what I needed to do.